सो प्योरिटी इज आर गारंटी दिस मिल्क इज सो प्योर दिस वॉटर इज वेरी वेरी प्योर बाय इट एवरीथिंग इज सोल्ड इज बींग सो प्योर राइट नाउ बट द वर्ड प्योर इज बींग अब्यूज इन वन सेंस सो वॉट डू वी रियली मीन बाई प्योर और वॉट डू साइंटिस्ट मीन वेन दे से समथिंग इज प्योर दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन राइट in fact the name of the chapter itself is is matter around us pure a question for the name of a chapter right isn't that interesting how many questions do we find as the name of a chapter in order to answer that question though we need to know what matter is first you know what matter is so what's the second thing we need to know to answer this question is matter around us pure what do we mean by pure right without knowing what we we mean by pure how can we say whether something is pure or not pure is something pure if it looks very smooth and you know if you take milk it looks pretty pretty clean pretty pure right it looks white all all over it looks pretty pure so but does that mean that milk is pure in the sense of science what do we need need to know to answer that what do we mean by pure so then what scientists mean when they say pure is that if you take that substance and if you put it somewhere we know that it's made up of many 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 small particles right really tiny ones so what it means is that if you pick a particle from any corner of this substance and some other corner you pick a random particle these two will be identical and no matter how many ever times you do this no matter which particle you choose to pick because all these are going to be made up of small particles in other words if you have ever played in what's called a play pen with these large number of balls that are there you get to jump inside it's all plastic balls yeah you're allowed to go on it when you were a kid and then after a while you grow too tall and they don't send you inside yeah you know what i mean right there's a little net around so what we what what is that what is what makes up the entire place a large number of little balls right now if all the balls were the same color identical then would it matter which place you put your hand inside and pick the ball if they were all red right if there were a large number of red balls making up this place you could put your hand anywhere close your eyes and pick one and you could be 100% sure that it's going to be a red colored ball now if that is true that if those kind of particles identical ones make up the substance then it's called pure makes some kind of sense doesn't it then what is impure it would obviously be that some of the balls are not identical right so there are a large number of red balls you insert some blue balls inside then or some green balls and yellow balls some some other kind of substance some other kind of particle kind of infiltrates this enters this then it's impure so what do we mean by pure every single particle that makes up the substance is the same is identical 